OK, we're going to look at the next stage of manufacture. You should have now created a foam model like this. This is a fairly simple sh uh, foam model shape. And now what we need to do to make a mould that we can vacuum form from, we need to transfer this shape to this block of MDF. Now the MDF is going to make a, 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 a solid and reusable mould that we can vacuum form from. It's also heat proof. But the problem with it is, although it, it's quite robust, it's quite difficult to work with, much harder to work with than the foam. So we're going to have a go with this. The tools we're going to use, um, we're going to use a mitre square. This, this will measure at 45 degrees. And we can also use this, this tool, which is a, a sliding bevel, which we can adjust. So we can actually take angles from our, from our model and just tighten that up and we can copy these angles on to our piece of MDF so so you can see there quite easily that I've transferred that model now if we're going to put a base plate on we can add the base plate later as another layer sorry I'm that way another layer of material so that when we make our mold our mold steps down over this but our problem now is that we need to remove this now the easiest way would get would be to um, get the technician or the teacher to use the bandsaw to cut this out because it is quite but we're going to have a go at cutting this out some of them are easier than others, so some are going to be more difficult depending on your shape. Now, what I'm using here is I'm using a tri-square to transfer my dimensions or my drawings across the shape of the object. So now we've got a piece here that we know we have to remove. Now, the next stage here is to come round to the vise and we're going to get ourselves a tenon saw and we're going to have a go at cutting the MDF. Now we're going to start off just like cutting any other materials. And although the MDF is quite much is more difficult to work than the and it does make quite a lot of and can we see there with a bit of work we've cut down to the line there. Now, the next stage is to cut at an angle. Now, cutting at an angle is more difficult. It's virtually impossible to start cutting at an angle, so the only way you can really reliably do it is to make a cut to start with. So that we've got a cut to start with here, and then we're going to angle up uh, piece of material you might see that it, it creates quite a lot of dust you need to be careful with but if you're sensible with it and every now and again just clear the dust out of the slot I'm going to go back now the other way there so if we look now and we compare to our original we've started to get the shape. Now remember on 
these sides here we still need to put a 10 degree release angle now that's probably best done using the band facer and I'll show you that in the next clip <laughs>